Hey guys! Today I wanted to talk to you about this wonderful little thing. It's called a Yodo player. Um, we've had the Yodo for at a year now and I love this little thing. It is wonderful. So basically what it is, is it's a little speaker and you get these cards for it or you can even do these um, make your own cards. I got a little child's version of Pride and Prejudice, made it myself, um, and you upload your own audio and it plays the story for you with these little icons. It's great. It's wonderful. Love it. They have a podcast called Yodo Daily. They have features all over and I am just in love with this little gadget. Now our daughter, she uses it to sleep with and she, she just loves it. Um, even turns into a night light. Isn't that great? <laughs> we have a little thing called an adventure jacket to keep it a little extra safe and so she can carry it around with her. Um, very nice in helping her tell the time, if you can see. <laughs> Anyways, we've just been completely enamored with this thing. It is it is a wonderful invention. It's better than cassette players for us when we were kids. <laughs> I used to listen to books on tape all the time, but now she has this and it is so nice. And they even have an app for your car, so whenever we're in the car and she wants to listen to a story, we can just pop it right on the on the car to play the story. Um, it's just it's wonderful. It helps keep bedtime really calm. It's a nice routine and it helps her get more involved in the books. We've noticed that she really loves stories. She loves to read. She's five and she's at a um, second grade reading level right now. So we're very proud of her for that. It's not something we were necessarily pushed her into. She's just always had the desire. Her dad and I read a lot, so I think she wanted to read as well. So when we're reading on our Kindles or we're reading books, she's reading her books too. But now she can really get into the stories with the Yodo player. And it's nice because it's all on her terms. So one thing I will caution you if you do go this route is it can be a bit addicting with all the cards. This is just some of our cards that we have. And we actually have more on the way. I ordered some the other day. Um, <laughs> and I love making cards. I made this one, How to Train Your Dragon. You just, you can buy the audio or sometimes you can find free audio. And they have make your own cards. And I have so much fun with that. And I just Mod Podge my little uh, covers on them. It's a lot of fun for me. <laughs> it's one of my new hobbies. But there is a, such an array of different things with Yodo that we just love. They have a program called the Draw Along. You don't have to have a card for this. You can use uh, the app to get this. And she loves drawing along with Jake on those. And we just have an array of stories. And she loves the brain bots. She has learned so much. Funnily enough, right now, her favorite brain bot is about Sir John Harrington, the inventor of the toilet. <laughs> I've heard this one more times than I can count. But it's a nice screen-free alternative. Like, she can listen to these stories while she's playing with her toys, and it's something that keeps her engaged that's not a screen. I know in today's day and age everybody's worried about their kid becoming an iPad kid or a Switch kid or just glued to the TV and while we still have those things she still watches TV. She still plays on the Switch and she has plenty of screen time but this is nice for those down times when we're going screen free for a bit or just in general, she'll choose it over watching TV sometimes. She'll just go in her room, pop in a story, or she has a bunch of little song cards that she likes. Just listen to songs for a while, and that's what she'll do. And it's it's just been such a nice change for us, because now instead of, you know, her being bored and wanting to know what she can do, she just automatically goes to the Yodo player and is picking out cards. 
and will listen to what she wants to listen to. So it's totally something that's on her terms, what she wants to do. And I think having that autonomy really helps her get engaged. For the longest time, she was obsessed with Charlotte's Web. She loved Charlotte's Web. She listened to it every day, every night. Now she's gravitated more towards Little Women, which is very nice and very interesting. She loves hearing these stories and I could not be more thrilled with this thing. Um, it is a bit expensive to get started with. Someone actually found this and let me know about it. It was at a thrift store, so sometimes you can get really lucky and find something. Um, but they do run sales. They actually have one on right now where you can get a brand new one. This is not a newer version. This is the older version of it. But you can get a brand new version of it for I think it's $99 right now. Um, which is a really good deal. Because <laughs> these things can get expensive. And like I said, it can get pricey with this. But we have the... Um, we have... Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. The words... We have the Yodo Club, so we get two cards every month and a 10% discount on any other cards and uh, free shipping, and that's all for $9.99 a month, and we really enjoy that, so it's a good way to build your collection. Um, we've paused it a few times here and there when we're, when we're stopped, but if she changes her mind and wants to change up her cards or she's kind of outgrown some cards, we'll just start our uh, subscription back up again um there is a decent resale on like facebook and such so um i have a few cards that i think she's pretty much outgrown like llama llama and pow pow fish unfortunately she's kind of outgrown those but um i'll probably sell those and then we'll just get her some new ones that she's more interested in she's very interested in learning and i think that yodo has really helped facilitate her being interested in learning new things um, it's really neat like and she'll just randomly be like did you know that the immune system does this and this and this or just random facts that she's learned by listening to all this um, so yeah I really love the Yodo and this is obviously not in any way shape or form sponsored but I just wanted to put it out there. It's a great option for kids. I've recommended it to a lot of my friends because it's just something that's so easy for kids and it's safe because you can kind of curate <laughs> their experience with it um, to what you need it to be. There's only kid-friendly options. Um, if there's any content you don't want them listening to, you just don't give them access to it. Um, it's super simple. Like I said, we got this a year ago, so she was four at the time, and she picked up on it, and she loves it. So we really recommend Yodo, and I hope you guys found this video to be informative or at least entertaining. Have a good one, guys. Bye.